Chapter 3, Sample Problem 3. The uniform 100 kg I beam is supported initially with its end roller on the horizontal surface A and B. By means of the cable at C, it is desired to elevate end B to a position of 3 above the end A. Determine the required tension P. The reaction at A and the angle theta made by the beam with the horizontal in the elevated position. At first we should provide a body diagram. Assume that the end of the beam now is the elevated of 3 meters. So we should provide a, a sketch of 3 meter here, 3 meter, the end of the B. And the power beam should be in this position, experimentally. Power forces are, this is the ruler. Uh, support so we have only the force in the normal direction to the face to the contact point or a we have the gravitational force mg and also a tension of the cable p after three meters the theta is unknown and also this distance of four two and two according to the escape picture here The weight of the gravitational force is in the middle of the beam here, this point. Now we have a system of forces and some unknown. Equilibrium say that we should. We must have this relation and equals to z. At first we can make a momentum at point A to eliminate the force A and obtain the force P this distance is 4 and the normal distance if we use the concept of transmissibility as the forces we can let me make a Transmissibility force. The normal distance for sigma m r equals to m g multiply to four multiply to cosinus theta. Theta is under and plus p multiply to the normal distance which is 6 multiply to cosinus theta equals to 0 so sigma 
that you consider this picture for more convenient. Sigma M A. We make a relation P. P multiplied six multiplied to cosinus theta minus M G. P equals to so P can be calculated. The reaction R sigma F y equals to zero P plus R minus M G R equals to P. So the reaction at A can be calculated neutrons. Theta. Theta is can be calculated from this triangle. Sinus theta from this triangle here. What's the three on eight? Theta equals to sinus inverse. You can use the scientific calculator. 